Welcome to 360D CAD. Take a pause to like the video. To stay updated with new videos, subscribe the channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to perform the model analysis on a cantilever beam using ANSYS Workbench software. So, in this problem, the cantilever beam of uniform configuration along with its length of 1 meter and its cross-sectional area is defined by a rectangle having width of 50 mm and height of 25 mm. It is held fixed on the one end and has, hangs freely at other. The objective of the problem is to find the natural frequency and mode shapes of the cantilever beam. So, in this analysis, we are going to start with a modal analysis. So, you have to drag model onto your main screen. Then double click on engineering data to check all the parameters. So, here Young's modulus of elasticity is 200 GPA or we can say 2 into 10 raised to 11 Pascal. So, it is correct and Poisson's ratio is 0.3 and density 8050. So, density we are going to change that is 8050 kg per meter cube so here we have set all the properties so we will just close the engineering data and go to the geometry so in the geometry we are going to draw a rectangular cross section having length of 1000 mm and cross sectional area we are going to form with the width of 50 and height 25 so we will draw it in a design modular so our design modeler has been opened. Here we are going to draw in the XY plane. So just right click on XY plane and select look at. So XY plane will come parallel to your screen. Now we will go to the sketching, select a line and we will draw one horizontal line. And provide a dimension that is a horizontal dimension. Select the first node and second node and place your dimension over here. The dimension is a thousand mm so we will just zoom out properly now this is our length so our sketch is been generated we can simply click on generate button so sketch in xy plane is been generated now we have to form an element with the help of this so go to the concept and line from points so pick up first point press the control button and pick second point click on apply so one element is selected keep it as a add material and click on generate so your one part one body will be created so here our one part and one body is being generated but when we click on the line body it is going to show the cross section is not selected so we have to create a cross section so go to the concept cross section and rectangular cross section and in the problem we have to define the width as 50 mm and height is 25 mm so width we are going to set as 50 height we are going to set as 25 so our cross section is been generated so in the line body we are going to set this cross section as rectangle 1 and simply right click on the screen and we can see this particular model in isometric metric view to view the cross section go to the view select cross sectional solid so here your cross sectional solid will be shown over here now what we have to do we have completed this particular model so close the design modeler and open the model that is ansys mechanical so here our ANSYS mechanical has been started so first thing we have to do is a generate meshing so insert as it is a 1D element we will select the sizing and we have to select H in the problem selection criteria select that particular H and in geometry click on apply so that one H is selected and element size we can set it as a number of division and we will keep the number of division as suppose 20 then on the right click on the mesh click on generate mesh so how much number of elements uh, you required it's depend on you and your perception then we have to apply the pick support and left or the left hand corner so select the pick support now we have to change our selection criteria to vertex and pick the left vertex click on apply 
so whatever geometry is been provided in a question all are been defined and implemented into the ansys software now next thing we have to proceed for the solution so right click on solution and click on solve so all the mathematical calculations will perform in the background here we have to do one more thing in the analysis setting the number of mode shapes to find we can set it as the max number of mode shapes we required are 5 so we can change the analysis setting and in analysis setting we can set this number to 5 again right click on solution and click on solve so it will generate a total 5 mode shape so first 5 frequency we will get to know so in this particular table here the 5 frequencies are been calculated so the first natural frequency is achieved at 20 hertz second at 40 third at 125 fourth at 248 and fifth at 350 so we while designing any particular machine we have to avoid those frequency to avoid the resonance now to see what kind of mode shapes it is going to form we are going to go to the insert deformation and total deformation so right click on it and click on evaluate result so this is a first mode shape and maximum deformation in that particular whenever first frequency is uh, achieved the maximum displacement which is being 19.9 this is for first frequency if you want to change the mode so suppose we want to change check the second mode shape increase the mode to 2 and again right click on total deformation and click on evaluate retrieve this result so this is the second deformation again the value is 19.9 and our shape has been changed little bit so we will check the third deformation third mode shape value so here you can check that our shape is been changing with the each and every mode shape so this is the fourth one right click and retrieve this result so you can just see how this part is been deforming with each and every mode shape it generates the another type of deformation and another type of mode shape and again you can change the value of the deformation is different maximum deformation is different in each and every mode shape so in such a way we are going to calculate the different mode shape for the different different parameters or different shapes and as we haven't applied any particular load on this particular structure so these are the pre vibrations okay thank you if you like the video press the like button and do subscribe the channel to stay updated